Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, or wherever it is, depending on what time of day it is in your part of the country. My name is Albatross of Time, and this is going to be the first episode of my new series, XCOM Enemy Within. I'm going to be playing the Long War mod because it's freaking awesome so far. That being said, for those of you who don't know what this is after the year or two that has been out, uh, it's a game based upon the alien invasion of Earth. It is a tactical squad based shooter with a huge metagame behind it. Good tech trees, that kind of thing. I think the best way to explain it to you would be to jump right along in. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go for the long war. We're gonna go for normal because this game is rough as hell. I'm gonna reduce the beginner VO because it's annoying and I think that is everything that we need. Let's go ahead and start the game. Soldiers that have undergone cybernetic augmentation cannot engage in combat unless they have MECs equipped. Just so you know, those who play with the devil's toys. A further quote by Arthur C. Clarke. Wait a second, this isn't Arthur C. Clarke. That's Buckminster Fuller. Holy shit, they added a new one. No kidding. I didn't even know there was a really interesting uh, opening cinematic to this game. That's kind of cool. Might as well watch it. Why not? Hint! Aliens come out. Moving along. Alright, here we get to choose where the XCOM base is going to be. Depending on where you choose, it'll determine your primary coverage area and what uh, benefits you have available. And because it's where I live, I'm going to choose North America. You don't even get to know what the other ones are. It means my planes are going to be cheaper. That's really important. Ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Thanks, Central. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. Good to know. Down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, you don't get to choose anything on this mission. It looks like it's going to be on a dam or a bridge or something like that. Operation Brutal Throne. Hmm. Miami. They don't have land like this in Miami. Nevertheless, off we go. There's our Sky Ranger, beautiful beast that she is, gonna drop us off in the landing zone. Looks like a happy place. All right, we got ourselves a Bernadette Thomas, Tamala Diop, Maria Hernandez, Simbra Luthuli, Fumiko Sasaki, and Jacob Van Dyke. All right, that's a cool list of names. Now, what are we gonna do with this cast of characters? I'll tell you what, I'm not exactly gonna play this as uh, most other people have been in some of the other Let's Plays I've seen online. We're going balls to the wall, to the hilt, every single time. Um, and what does that mean for everybody? It means I'm gonna be doing kind of crazy things that you, you, you might not think are the best idea, but... You know, those who dare live, those who win don't die, and hopefully those who die uh, can further contribute to our whole lifelong aspirations of saving the human race. And if you got something to say about it, bloody well say it. I don't give a damn. Let's go, let's go. Where can we put this last one? We're gonna rush her all the way over here so the next time we can be at a flank or two. Thank you very much, Tamala. Your sacrifice will be noted in the log. Now, what have we got here? We got some flashbangs, APs. I really don't know what those do yet. Uh, I could study weapon, or I could shoot him in the face. Oh, that's a good start to the series right there. All right, what was our next shot percentage? 38? Oh, there's one upstairs. I don't like that at all. Uh, do we got a grenade? We do have a grenade. Let's take our shots up at the back, see if- No, that's not what I wanted! I should slow my fucking roll, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm still getting headshots, uh, etc, etc. 39%'s pretty good. Let's go for it. Lady, you need to go to the fucking range. That being said, 43% is even better. Hell yeah. All right, now, no, 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 no. Do I want to use an AP grenade or do I want to swing for the hills? 23% isn't all that great, so I can't hit him. Hold on, let's try and get pixel perfect perspective up here. Oh, yep, right there. The closer you get, I think, the more damage that it does. Oh, that one's perfect. All right, let's see if 
magic can happen. You need to do four damage here, and I don't think it's gonna happen. Boop! Alright, he's gonna take his turn. Does he get to panic like the bitch alien he is? In indeed he does. Oh wait, no, he's he's taking a shot. Oh Jeebus! PFC Sasaki, I don't want to talk to you right now. Everybody else panic success. Resisted panic, whatever. You stop crying. It's all gonna be okay, lady. It's all gonna be okay. You know why? Because Tamala Diopi knows how to do her goddamn job. Let's take a pistol shot. Less ammo consumption, etc., etc. 85% chance? You better not miss this one. Alright, good job, Tamala. You get the golden star of. Courage, I guess? Cookies? Hope? You're saving the human race here. Calm the fuck down. Okay, now somebody's gonna have a med kit, I hope. Nobody has a med kit. Nobody has a med kit. Maybe it was her that had the med kit. That would be bad. Alright, we're charging. All the way up. All the way up, I say. Actually, let's go halfway, just in case we can uh, detect any more aliens. It's Overwatch. For those of you not in the know, that means that if an alien wanders into sight on the next turn, she'll shoot it in the face, or at least get a chance to. Uh, more dashes, I think, are in order, but do we have any full cover? You know what? We don't need, we don't need any full cover. We're gonna get vision, is what we're gonna do. Yep, all right, off on top of the car. I just need to detect everybody, all right. And there's nobody, all right, I can live with that. Which means this is gonna be our sniper, these people are gonna be our flankers. Yeah, let's get right up there. Still no vision, huh? That's okay. It just means I get to dash some more. All the way up. You're our lineman, our flanker, our rusher, our Jim Bob killer man. Uh, I don't really know what that means, and I, I really don't think you should try and figure it out because it's just spilling out of my mouth as fast as I can click these buttons ladies and gentlemen uh, that is full cover full cover is supposedly a lot better than half cover is what, what I'm assuming most things are you don't need to read into them too much okay she does not have as much HP so she will sit back here on the front lines good old Fumiko Sasaki you'll be out for a few missions but that's okay Hernandez with your 4 HP where do I want to put you right up top I'm thinking Good decisions, saving lives. All right, you're actually gonna stay right where you are. No, don't, don't do that. Bad, it's steady weapon. So that if, if she gets to shoot at something someday, she'll have a better chance. Ooh, there's a hole in that damn, somebody better put their finger in that. Oh, Miss Thomas, stop, stop crying about it, all right. Half cover here, but it's better than anything else we've got. Still no aliens, so we're probably gonna move our sniper lady up. That's fine, though. Half moves because people are gonna cry if I don't. All right, Hernandez, what have you got for us today? These rushes are supremely dangerous, but guess how many fucks I give today? Absolutely none. Oh, that man does not have a head. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. And you get to hang back here next to your bow. All right, steady weapon. Yep. Uh, steady weapon. Steady weapon or move up? Hmm, probably not gonna be able to shoot much more. So you get to charge right up to the front, Bernadette. What even is a debt? I don't know, but if you wanna burn it, I'm not gonna get in your damn way. That's for damn sure. Alright, and one more time for the vision. Oh, we're not. There we go. Holy shit. Alright then. So, they got a little excited, didn't they? It's alright, I don't think they'll get any shots. Uh, hi. So, let's give them full cover over here. And while we're at it, turn around, shoot this one right in the face, or node, or whatever it's got. All right, Hernandez, you want to get crazy? You can get crazy. But for right now, I think you're actually just going to get 
out of out of out of their sight lines. I might want to rush it, but I don't want to do things that are too terribly stupid right off the bat. Let's see if we got a shot over here off of this guy. Nope, not quite. All right, that's all right. Uh, we got half cover here. Do we have full cover somewhere better? Not really. So half cover here. We've got one. You're holding the wrong gun. Thank you for getting your head in the game. 15% probably due to range. This person doesn't even have a shot. Get some more flankers over on this side with a full cover right there. Or at least see how it see how it tastes. I know there are. Hmm. I'm gonna do something a little bit risky here. I think is what I'm gonna do. Put one right there, and this guy way in the back will get somewhere safe. It's okay, Famico. We've got your back. Now, who still has a move? Interesting. I think if if I can put an AP grenade right over here, there are some things that I can't really see, and that will be great use to me. Or at least it'll surprise the fuck out of this guy. Ha <laughs> ha, what's up, friend? Two for ones. And you might as well take that 30% chance to hit. Bada boosh. Oh god, this is going so well. And I heard that long war was hard. Oh well, the last one's to the slaughter. What's going on, guys? Good times. Good times. Alright. Lady, lady, lovely. Luthuli, what's your shot percentage? 31, 16, 16. Ah, take your 31. Let's get crazy. Miss. Yep, had a feeling. All right, can we get, uh, we can get here. It's interesting. Oh, that was a lady who was damaged. Well, you know what that means. You better uh, hit 12%, not all that great of a chance. So we're gonna go for the flashbang. No, we're gonna go for the AP. Why? Because I don't want her to die. All right, that should be good. And it'll take all of these guys and make them think long and hard about what they did. All right, you got plenty of shots up ahead. I, I, Commander Jacob Van Dyke. I like the way you think. 38%. What you got? Swing and a miss, Jason Van Dyke. With a name like that, you know it's gotta be good. But, unfortunately, it wasn't. Alright. Nice little flank there. That's 75%. Ooh, that mean look in her eye right before the end. Alright. Last one. Can we get crazy? Can we get super crazy? I think it's time for super crazy. You can't even take a shot up there. What am I doing? Drawing their fire with the guy with 4 HP. Alright, and one last one who won't be able to do fuck all. We'll just move him up. Because why not? Another person for the aliens to shoot at willy nilly. Oh, this guy is almost certain to take a shot, but that. Ooh! That guy! Drawing a fire! Never worked so well. Panicked, ran away, didn't even hunker down. Oh, great, everybody's panicked. Reload. Whole freaking hum is what I have to say to that. Will you please shoot this man in the face? Very much appreciated. All right. So that's what you could expect from Alm Draws of Time. Oh, 10 aliens killed, zero operatives lost, and zero fucks given. Continue. All right. Heading back to base. And we'll get to see my game crash. Hmm. So, anyways, as I was saying, this is main base. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role That's Bradford. I'll explain everything he's gonna tell you. Anyways, as you can see. This is not the same party we were using last time because, unfortunately, it didn't save before the game crashed. Lordy, uh, but we have everybody promoted and one person injured. It pretty much went down the exact same way in the exact same fashion, just on a different level. Let's worry about it later. 
Control, don't start with me. Alright, we got some research to choose from and a lot of loot. They sell at the black market eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and look at everything on the screen. Here, we can let time pass and do missions. In the background is our actual base. Next event is uh, things we have queued up. Situation Room is where we talk to Council and see what's going on around the world. As you can see, we're in North America right now. We only have four um, but up, 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 um, things in the hangar. Do we even have four ships in the hangar? Let's see. Yeah, wow, we have four ships available in the freaking hangar. It's a lot at the beginning of the game, if I remember correctly. Here we can look at our soldiers and level everybody up, so let's take a look. Commander Specialist to Sarah Arjra. Commander, to the, Commander to the research labs. Fine, we'll take care of the barracks in a second. Yeah, okay, start a new research project. What do we want? I think what we want first is alien weaponry, so we can go ahead and get our laser weapons sooner. I'm trying to think back to the first time I played XCOM. It's been a long time and things in um, Long War are probably a little bit different, but who knows, who knows? Let's just begin the project. Of our latest research project. Yeah, sure, whatever, Dr. Van Halen. Uh, uh, engineering dude, he's doing his thing. Here we can build armor, weapons, etc. We're gonna want a few of these since they're free. Six for free? Sure, I'll, I'll take it. Um, and here you can see current projects. One day, sawed off shotgun. Do we want more satellites? Do we want more shivs? I think we want two shivs. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. Two barracks capacity. We should have pretty open barracks right now. And we want two auto loaders, one for each guy. I'm not really sure what we want in terms of satellites. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, what do we want for facilities? We're going to have to excavate pretty much everything, so let's go ahead and get that access lift done. If I remember correctly, what we really want is some rectangles when it comes to these guys, and it'll get more expensive the further down we go, so I'm just looking around. We're gonna have to wait a little bit for our first power station and I want this side to be devoted to satellite boat links because you get more bonuses dependent on uh, what's next to each other. I'll have to think about that. I'll think about it more off camera. Now let's go ahead and view our soldiers. We have quite a few ready to level up to specialists so we'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, ag, nope, they want me to go to Mission Control and they won't stop bitching about it, so I'm gonna go to Mission Control. Hey, it's Mission Control. Hallelujah. Alright. Barracks. New soldiers. Specialist Adrum. Now, I haven't taken a look at these abilities yet, so I'm gonna take the time to do that. We can either choose Medic or Engineer from here. This is just some stuff I know from watching another Let's Play. You might have seen him. You can probably guess who he is. Uh, or I can choose a random subclass. Who are you? Sarah Adrum. I remember you doing pretty well in the med. Let's go for medic. It's something I want. One medic at the very least. Alright, that's that's one. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, Eric Reynolds, what do you get to do? You get to be either a grenadier or a field medic. You get to be a grenadier. Thanks, Eric. You can keep it varied. Mr. Canada, I wonder who I'm gonna name him after. Matthew Moreau, abilities. We are going to have you as a gunner or as a rocketeer. Hmm. Gunner or rocketeer? Gunner or rocketeer? Let's start off with a uh, gunner. Because I want to. I think we're just going to have one of everything. And uh, check your loadout. Don't want you to ever have the saw ever again, actually. Let's check and see what everything does. Because it's going to e either the saw or the LMG, and I need to know what each of them do. Minus two mobility penalty, but four to eight damage vice. Four to six, yep, we're gonna stick to the LMG, at least for now. And he doesn't get to move much. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Cool, and you, sir, not sure what that flag's from because I am a bad uh, we can either have a assault or an infantry. We'll go for the infantry right off the bat because shooting twice is awesome. And 
Emily Robinson, what do you get to be? You also get to be an assault because having two is awesome. Confirm. I'm gonna get to see, somebody's gonna have to be special to be an assault and the person who was gravely wounded, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be the lightning reflexes guy and we don't have a sniper yet, which saddens me. Lightning reflexes is very, very good for baiting out those overwatches. As we continue on, you'll get to see more and more of what they do. All right, I might as well hire a couple. Let's hire six more, that's a full squad's worth. We're not gonna use the guys we just used in the next mission. Uh, do I wanna look at the aircraft list? No, do I wanna launch a satellite? Do I have any available? No, one in orbit right now, so we're gonna go ahead and build one right off the bat. Just one. And it costs 140, so, you know, whatever. I would, I would love to, but I'm not sure that's uh, really in the cards for us right now. Do we want to build a generator yet? No, we do want to wait on that excavation. That's the way it goes, ladies and gentlemen. So, here we go. Mission Control. Here's the button we click to make time go boom. What's this button do? I have no idea. But anyways, our shotguns are done. There we go. Can we assign new projects? Not so much. Heavy UFO activity over France. Sorry about that, Mr. Man. We're gonna get our new soldiers right off the bat here in a second or five. You never know. All right, a couple of, oh, here we go. View abduction sites. Let's do this over Russia. In the Interesting. But for now, I'm going to save that for the next episode because we need to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. It is late at night and I need my, my little bird sleep. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you'll join me for the next one. Like, sub, whatever you want. See you next time. Adios.